This is tutorial number six, and it covers how to extrude cut within Autodesk Inventor. Now what we're going to do in this tutorial is from tutorial number five, we're going to extrude cut those parts. So to start off, let's click this face of the circle of the tube that we just made. So let's click that, click sketch. And now let's rotate this so we can see it from the top. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut out a quarter chunk of it. So let's click the two point rectangle, let's click the center point of the circle, and let's drag it out so that we've enclosed the top end there and the bottom end there. Now let's click return, let's click extrude. Now we have to choose a profile, so let's choose this profile here. Let's click cut, and for the distance, let's make it 200. Now let's rotate this around to see what it looks like. And you can see that it's the red box is going through the tube there. Now let's make this distance a little bit more so we make it go all the way through. Let's make it 300. Let's make it a little more. Let's make it 500. Click OK. And now if we rotate this around, we can see that we cut through that chunk of the circle. Now let's unclick that, and if we want that circle, that chunk to come back, all we have to do is right click extrusion 6, which we just did, which is the cut, click delete, click OK, and it's back to where it was. Now let's go to this square, let's rotate it so we can see the bottom, let's unclick rotate, let's click this edge, click sketch, and let's click the circle and in the square let's draw a little circle click return click extrude and for the profile we can either choose the outside profile and we will extrude everything but the circle or we can choose the inside profile and extrude the circle out so let's choose the inside and we're gonna click cut and we're gonna make a distance of 50 click OK and we've cut 50 mils in now if we right click that and click edit feature you can see that we can also change the direction like the extrude like the extruded uh, base and we can either go from like one side of the plane one, the other side of the plane or mid plane extrude cut now this time let's click the mid plane click OK and it's only gone in 25 instead of the 50 this time now let's rotate it again and let's select this side of the square We'll zoom in, click sketch, and this time let's draw a triangle onto the face of the square. Now let's click return, click extrude. Now for the profile, let's choose the center there, and this time we're going to use the intersect. Now let's rotate this around to see where we're going, we're going into it and it's going to do 50, let's click OK and what happens is that it cut everything else but the triangle that we selected now let's click Control Z and we've undone that so let's click edit, let's click the extrude again and we'll click the intersect again this time for the profile we'll click the outside of this red, pro this red profile that I have highlighted, so click that and what's going to happen is everything in that profile is going to stay and everything else is going to go, so click OK and that's what happened there. So let's click Control Z again click Extrude and that's what the intersect does, it takes what you've selected is going to stay, everything else gets cut out and with the cut what you select goes and everything else stays, so they're pretty much the opposites of each other so let's click the triangle, let's do the cut, click OK, and we've cut into it. And that concludes our tutorial on how to extrude cut with an Autodesk Inventor.